Ladies and gentlemen, Olympian Dominique Blake. Hello everyone, thank you guys so much for having me here at the CP Talks. So I wanna to talk to you guys about something that's really, really important. The difference between the mindset of an Olympic athlete and the average person. Three main things that really set us apart from everybody else in the world. What does it take to be an Olympian? What does it take to be a gold medalist? What, is, what does it take to be a silver medalist or a bronze medalist? To just go to that height in your career and say, man, I did it. So in my opinion, I think it takes three main things. And the first thing is your, your mindset. You know what I mean? Goal setting is a real thing. So how do you go from kindergarten to junior high school, to high school, to college, to the professional level, and just day in, day out, going to practice with that same hope, that same passion, even when you have went to the meets and somebody's you know, beat you and you don't win every time? How do you go track meet to track meet? It's the same thing applying it to your life and the business place and your relationships. How do you go from being broken up with, with a girlfriend or a boyfriend and then just as passionately jump into the same relationship. So it's just that mindset that it has to get better. I have to get faster. I must be successful. So that is our mindset every single day. So it doesn't change. I don't care what happened to me yesterday. Yesterday is over. What's new today? And I expect to be successful in every area of life. So sport is an extension of life for us. And that's just how we wake up and live our lives every day. So do you guys have any experience with that? A round of applause for those of you who wake up every day wanting to go into it, just being successful. Thank you guys. So number two is diligence. So we really pride ourselves on being meticulous, compulsive people. We're diligent day in, day out, just with everything we do. So from the track, that actually pours into my regular life. And you know, if you come to my house, my closet is color coded. Uh, if you come into my kitchen, there's nothing out of place. So I find myself being diligent, not only on the track and in my career, but at home and in my relationships. I make sure that I'm communicating effectively and making sure that I'm following up with people and things that I care about. So I'm not really leaving anything to chance because just like being a pro athlete and having that mindset that I have to be really diligent for every, because every second counts, right? So somebody can lean me like out at the line. If I don't do everything that it takes to win that race, that's how I look at everything in life. You know what I mean? I have to do everything because I can't leave anything to chance. And that's just how I live my life every single day. And the third thing that I think that's really, really important is being teachable. So has anybody in here played a sport Right, round of applause for those of you who have been a part of a team. Okay, so I'm not alone. So I don't know how many of you have, have ran track or you know been a part of other sports, but it really doesn't matter. Uh, being an athlete, being teachable is like the number one thing. So we can't, no matter how good you are, no matter how good you think you are, because sometimes we think we're a little bit better than we are in real life. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, know, I know a lot of people like that, and I'm guilty of that sometimes as well. And it's, really, it's a really humbling situation for you to think to yourself, man, I'm gonna show up here every day, but I have a coach, and my coach, it's very important for your coach to actually see more in you than you can actually see in yourself sometimes. If my coach right now tells me, hey Dom, you can run to China right now barefoot, I would start running, I would believe him. So that's important for me to maintain that teachable attitude, have faith in my passion, but more importantly, it's really important for me to have a teachable attitude every single day that I show up. Uh, just it, even in the workplace, it's very important to show up and say, hey man, I don't know everything, but I'm here for a reason, this is my passion, and I want to learn more. So it's very important to attach yourself and align yourself with different things in life that you're passionate about, but things that you can continue being hungry for. You know what I mean? If I feel like I have stopped learning and I don't want to learn anymore, this is not for me. I need to find something else and be attached to something else. So. I look at my commitment level. If I'm committed and I'm all in, oh, I'm gonna remain teachable. I wanna, I'm gonna show up every day with my, my cup empty. Teach me more, I wanna learn more. I've, I've really realized being around the most successful people in life, multimillionaires, super successful people, they show up very humble. You will not be able to pick them out of a room and say, man, that's a billionaire right there. 
They're the most humble people. They listen, they, they're teachable, and they want to know more. And I find that when I want to know more, I'm able to help people and be more effective in life. You know what I mean? So those three things are super important. I'm just gonna say them one more time. Goal setting, diligence, and being teachable. All right, guys, so once again, I'm Dominique Blake, Olympian and serial entrepreneur. Thank you guys so much for having me. And those are my three things for what sets Olympians apart from everybody else. Thank you, guys. <laughs> yes, if you're on Instagram, I would love to follow everybody in this room. Please follow me at Dominique V. Blake. I'll have lots of goodies for you guys on social media. Thank you. Thank you.